It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we're going to be taking a look at another blade beer. There's the blade system there. I picked up the Lagunitas IPA and reviewed that already on the channel, but I needed to put an order of two kegs in to be able to get it sent to me. So whilst I was on their website, Beowulf's website, I picked up this Tiger Singapore Tiger Lager, Asian Lager from Singapore. It's 4.8% ABV in an eight litre keg. I'm gonna show you how to load it now on the blade beer. And then we're gonna have a pint, a well-deserved pint. So, first of all, oh, take that off, that little protector for the nozzle. You're only touching the orange pieces on your system. You've got a button here to push down. Get that down. That actually went down really nicely. I find when you get the beers from Beowulf, everything seems to work really well. I've had some, I had a keg from Greece and I had a keg from, so I couldn't get the button. It was like really difficult to get the button down. Um, but I always find from Beowulf. This is not a sponsored video by Beowulf. Uh, it's just me talking about me ordering a beer from the website and the beers, the kegs just seem to be working. So, well, they all work, but some are easier than others. So take off your lid, grab all of your keg, spin him round, load him in. Open your tap. Make sure your line is not trapped. I'm just looking at my line here. It's getting out of the way. That goes in there like so. That clicks into position. Oh, let's put the lid back on. And then you're loading your line. You've got a lock button on the front, you just simply push down. And it's that reassuring kind of brrrr, I kind of like that. That you know when that happens, you're nearly drinking beer. Um, put the light on. Put the light on if you want to. Um, it's the middle of summer here, so um, it's nice in the winter with a light on. Uh, it feels like a proper kind of home bar. On my way, so with this keg, I always pre-chill my kegs. Oh, there, there's the fridge. You can see that I, I pre-chill my kegs in that fridge over there. Um, no, that was a nice nice little accident, wasn't it? That uh, The way I set up the camera. But anyway, I pre-chill my kegs in the fridge over there. Um, I get them down to about four degrees. So there's not much waiting time and you're not putting your cooling system on the blade under too much pressure. So with all that said, I can see that the temperature gauge is on the top, but it hasn't had a chance to register yet. I know it's four degrees. I'm going to pull a beer. So I'm going to pull a little bit off through the line. You can either throw it away or you can uh, drink it, but it's, it's a good chance to get some beer through the line and it's a good chance to wet your glass a little bit. Oh, that's crisp. Right, let's pour a beer. Look at that. I love my blade. I really do. Out of the 
all of the systems I've got one two three four systems um, the brew fit is a top quality system it's a it's you know what you've got to get kegs for that you've got to well you can go anywhere really for the kegs I like the brew fit system but I really love my Philips perfect draft um, the selection of beers on there is terrific but for me the blades it's my favorite let's go this side it's my it's my favorite system it really is it's the system where I'm always looking to see if they brought out any new beers it's everything that is really well built it's like the the Mercedes Benz or the Rolls Royce of the of the beer machine world all of the switches are solid it's all stainless steel I like the mini esque gauges on there I like the fact that you can see the keg on the top. It's a brilliant, brilliant system. Love it. Right, that said, oh, and the beer always pours out so very well as well. So no messing about, no frothy beers, no frothy kegs. We've got a one finger white head, good levels of carbonation. Nice kind of amber colored beer. Let's get the aroma. Clean lager, clean kind of multi crisp lager. Let's um, a little bit of lemon, a little bit of spiciness. Let's dive in. Cheers. It's really refreshing, really refreshing. I think I've, I'm, I'm not even sure if I've reviewed Tiger from the bottle or the can. I think this might be a new beer for me. It's a Heineken product. It's a Heineken product, it is. Um, it's, a, it's a Heineken made machine. Heineken owned, owned Tiger. So in many respects, the beer tastes an awful lot. For me, it tastes an awful lot like Heineken. So if you're a fan of Heineken and you want to try this beer, it's got nice lacing on the glass. It's nice and cold. It's very drinkable and refreshing. If you like a Heineken, then you'll probably like this. Clean, crisp, refreshing like the barbecue get out in the garden there with a few beers you haven't got to go far with your beer machine your, your pints in hand happy days i just love the the flexibility and the ease of use with this machine i've had a few comments over over the last year where people say it seems a bit of a faff but honestly, you got eight liters of beer there. I what did I load it in? I loaded that keg in what two minutes, and that's with me talking at the same time. Once it's loaded, you got eight liters of beer. And it usually takes me a week or two weeks to get through a keg. So for that two minute loading time, I got two weekends full of beer to get through, and it's okay. It's a, it's a pretty decent pint at the same time. Let's rate it. Clean, crisp, refreshing lager. Carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth. I'm going to stick with my guns here and say if you're a fan of Heineken, you're going to like this. Um, me personally... I'd much rather buy a, a vice beer on my machine. I'd much rather buy... We've had, we've had some fantastic Austrian beers. The Vienna Lager. But the Vienna Lager was one of my favourites. Um, I like the Greek Lager as well. I was a big fan of the Greek Lager. This, it, it's nice. There's no off flavour, there's no off taste, but I think this is your real... If you're a big lager drinker, 
you're gonna like this. You're gonna like this beer. Seven out of ten. Seven out of ten from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!